So in this video, we're going to talk about animation in Adobe Flash CS6, and we're going to start with frame by frame animation. So we're going to open up a new file in Flash. So the key when working in Flash is using the timeline, which we've used before, but we really only used one frame. So when we look at the timeline, the first thing we look at are the frames. Um, so we have obviously our layer, we can hide and lock layers. We can also just show an outline by clicking right there. Um, but when the timeline, these are frames up here. So do not think of them as seconds because they're not. They're frames. So as far as how many frames play per second, well that depends on your project settings. So we can use our selection tool, click anywhere in blank space, and look in our properties, and we can see right here under FPS, that's frames per second. So that's how many frames are going to play in one second. And if I want to change that, I can. I can click and type a number, or I can just drag my mouse to the left or the right to change that number. So by default it looks like it was 24 seconds, so I'll just leave it that way. That means in one second, 24 frames are going to play. Okay, so you know to find out how many frames are going to play in a given amount of time, you just have to do a little bit of math. Okay, so um, we're going to start by just making something in the first frame. So I'll just make a basic circle. And with mine, I did not give it a stroke, I just gave it a fill. So I've got one frame. And actually it's a keyframe. If I look, it's a black circle, which means it's a keyframe. And remember, keyframe is where change takes place. So to insert another keyframe, I can hit F6. And you'll notice it copies what I had in the last keyframe to this keyframe. And then I could select my circle and I can move it wherever I want. And I can hit F6 again to make another keyframe and I can move it. Another way I can make a keyframe is I can go up to insert, timeline, and choose keyframe. And that made a new keyframe and I can move my object again. A third way to make a keyframe is to right click. So I select frame 6, I right click and go to insert keyframe. So those three ways, F6, go up to insert keyframe or right click and insert a keyframe. And I can move it again and then I can insert, whoops, I can insert another keyframe, F6 and move it and I'll do a couple more and I'll just keep moving my object. Okay, now to play it I can just hit enter on my keyboard I could also hit the play button down here at the bottom of the timeline. I could also click on my numbers here and just drag and that's called scrubbing. I could scrub across my timeline. Okay. Now there's one other thing we can do. If we want to go ahead and export it, there's a shortcut to do that. So the first thing I need to do is save it. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'll just call this day one and I'll save it to my desktop and I notice on my desktop it's saved then I can hit command enter or command return enter return same same key and when I do that it goes ahead and it exports it as an SWF a SWIFT now the nice thing about a SWIFT is that anybody can watch it so if I save this as a flash file and I give it to somebody else they have to have flash to be able to open it whereas a SWIFT anybody can open. So the way that works when I hit command enter is that it actually exports it to the same place you have your FLA saved. So I save my FLA to the desktop it's going to save that SWIFT to the desktop and it's right here and if I want to open that up I can just double click and it opens it up. Okay so that's an easy way to export your movie. You could also get a file, export export and then choose export movie and then you choose format SWF and then you could type it in but it's it just saves you a step to hit command enter okay so that's how we do frame by frame animation now if I want to move one of those frames let's say I want to click on this frame and move it somewhere I can just click on it and then I can drag it so maybe I could drag it to 15 now you'll notice from frame 10 to 14, I just have frames. So remember, a keyframe is where change takes place. So between 10 and 14, there's no change. So it's just a still image just sitting there. And that's fine. Um, but just keep in mind, a keyframe is where change takes place, and a frame, there's no change there. 
Um, and that's how we do a frame-by-frame -frame animation.